guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get this really cool, girly, subtle makeup look. So if you want to see this makeup look, then carry on watching. If you're not already, please do subscribe. I post twice a week so you can stay up to date with all those videos and it'd be lovely to have you along for the ride. But in the meantime, let's get going. So first up, I'm going to apply some of my Simple Rich Moisturiser. I love this moisturiser, it's super, super light and it will last you all day. Then I'm gonna pop on a primer. Again, I wanna keep my makeup put for the entire day. So this one is by Makeup Forever, and this is the Smoothing Primer. It has kind of a skin color to it as well, so it kind of equalizes your skin tone. Then I'm going to apply some concealer, and this is my Makeup Forever palette. I'm loving this palette at the moment. I normally use the second lightest shade, but this is the perfect concealer just to cover those eye bags. So for foundation, I actually use a tinted moisturizer. This one is by Laura Mercier, and this is my favorite tinted moisturizer ever. Not only is the coverage really great, it's kind of light, but it still covers your skin where you need it covered. It also lasts forever. I've literally had this tube for so long now, so it's definitely worth an investment. And because the tinted moisturizer is still quite light, I'm going to apply a little bit more concealer just to those eye bags. Um, so this one is the Last Imperfection Collection Concealer, and I love this concealer, it's just amazing. And then I'm actually going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to use this Amazing Cosmetics Perfection Stick. And I like to just put this on my cheekbones and blend in very lightly. And to blend this in, I'm going to use my QVS Foundation Brush. I know it's a foundation brush, but this works just as well because it's really flat and you can really kind of blend that in. I'm going to touch my nose because I'm working with what mama gave me so my nose is staying as it is. Then I always like to powder my foundation down and to do this I am using the Laura Mercier Loose Powder and I love this powder. It gives the foundation or tinted moisturiser a really nice flawless finish. And using my powder brush from QVS I like to just dip my brush into the lid and just literally lightly dust this over my face. And it's time for blush, and I've got this really pretty pink colour from MAC, and this is called Love Cloud. To apply this, I'm using my QVS Blusher Brush, which is brilliant because it's just small enough to get to my cheeks. Then it's time for brows. I like to brush my brows through with a little spoolie, and I've got this one from QVS. I just absolutely love brushing my brows through with this tool. It just gets them all in the right place and ready for penciling in. Then, to get the general shape of my brows, I'm going to use this Brow Pomade, by Eilure, and this is in number 10 dark brown. I'm gonna use my QVS brow brush because the other end of the spoolie, you get a little eyebrow brush as well. Using the brush, I'm just going to drag the brush across in very thin, uplifting motion, just to get the shape of my brow back in. And then to thicken the brows up, again, I have this brow contour, and this is in dark brown again. I'm gonna use this very lightly, just to give my brows a bit of thickness. We are going to use this Makeup Forever Purple Eyeshadow, which is very daring, but very fun. We are having a little bit of fun here after all. Um, I love this purple shade, and I'm going to blend this out with a QVS blending brush, which again is brilliant for blending because it's so fluffy. I just absolutely love this brush. And then just to add a little bit more depth, we're going to take this Anika Blue Steel um, Mineral Eyeshadow and just add a little bit to the middle using a QVS eyeshadow brush. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my blending brush as well. And just blend that into the purple. I find that these two tones together give a really nice kind of deeper purple shade. And once we've done that, I've got these really cool Aqua XL Makeup Forever pencils. And these are just amazing. The colour payoff is like nothing I've ever seen in my life. Um, they literally stay on. They're super long lasting. So these are brilliant for a festival because you can guarantee that they're going to stay put. I'm going to take this really dark purple and just add this to underneath my eye and blend that out. And then close to the inside corner of my eye, I'm going to use this lilac colour, which again is just so, so beautiful, and I find this really brightens the eye. So we're just going to apply this to the inner corners and underneath of our eyes. Now for mascara, I'm going to start off with this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is waterproof and I love the packaging of this, it is so pretty. I'm literally just going to apply this very lightly because we've got another mascara to add in a little while. So I'm just going to apply this lightly to the outer corners of my eye. Just to give my lashes that more fluttery effect. 
So next up we have some coloured mascara and you can skip this step if you're not feeling brave enough or you just like the natural look but I'm going to pop on some of this bright blue mascara. This is from Kiko and I absolutely love this. So for this mascara I'm just going to pop it into the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to grab the purple mascara and pop this on the outer corner of my eye. Because we've already put black mascara on it's not as obvious as it could be so if you do want a very very colourful look skip the black mascara step but I like how this looks just on the tips of my lashes and then just to add a little bit more depth to the eyeshadow I'm just going to go back in with my dark purple pencil and just run this along my lash line and then for the lips I'm using this NYX soft matte lip cream and this is in the colour SMLC number 13 and I'm going to apply this all over my lips I love this shade it's so so pretty and perfect for a little bit of fun and then just in the middle for a little bit of sparkle I'm going to add some of this Too Faced lipstick and this is in the shade Clueless and the shimmer and sparkle in this lipstick is just out of this world as you can see I've just added it to the very middle of my lips as I find this just gives the lipstick a little bit of depth and gives it that kind of really cool glossy look So there you go guys, that is the makeup look finished. It's always nice to experiment with some colour and I find that this way is really nice because you don't have to be too bold but there is a little bit of fun in there as well. Thank you as always for watching and thank you to QVS for working with me on this video. If you are on the market for some makeup brushes then definitely check these out. I will leave all the links to them below and where you can pick these up from as well. If you're not already then please do subscribe, the button's on the screen right now or you can find it down below. And I will see you very soon for another video. I feel like I'm in like some kind of cool disco here. Woo! Woo! And on that note, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Mwah!